Hi, I'm Lou with another episode of My Car Story. And we're at the Rosemont Convention Center, the Muscle Car and Corvette National. And when you talk about muscle cars, I'm here with Ray and Lizette. This is the kind of car we talk about. Ray, first of all, nice to see you. What's your last name? Dupuy. Dupuy and Lizette Lance. Lizette Lance. And where did you come from? Uh, we came from all the way from Ottawa, Ontario, Canada. <laughs> Ottawa, to come to this show. That's how good the show is. So if you live closer than Canada, you should come. Let me grab the cameras I usually do. So Ray, first of all, this car you have here is what kind of car do you have? It's a 1966 Coronet 500. And it has a little something special to it. I've owned it for 42 years. So it's a member of the family. Yes, I bought it off the original owner in Ottawa. And tell me what type of engine it has. It's got a factory 426 Hemi. <laughs> What's good or featured attraction? Here is the all black car. So Ray, I mean, uh, you said you got this car in 74. That's right. Now that's an interesting time frame because in 74, people were getting rid of their Hemis, not keeping their Hemis. How did you have the foresight to see, hey, this is a special car and let's, let's keep it? Drag racing. <laughs> Who wouldn't want to race a Hemi, Hemi car? That's for sure, that's for sure. So let's, come on back with me. Let's get an overall shot of the car. The Coronet 500 with the other little special badge right there. And I will feature these racing wheels with the Magnum. For those who are watching, I'll just do that. So that'll look like a normal. And we'll come back out. So let's step back for a moment. This is a long car. It is. But it's a light car, correct? I mean, it's not uh, super heavy for a car this size. No. They probably weigh about 3,800 pounds. And you may... Go ahead. Because this car has got no options. And some real interesting posts here, a real thin body post, great line down there. I mean, uh, really, really a kind of a, a well-done car. The interesting thing about this car is I don't know about Ontario, but here in Illinois, what they would do is they throw salt on the roads, and these cars' quarter panels would be gone in two years. That's correct. I mean, you don't see them like this. So how long was it before you restored this car, and, and what did that take? Uh, it took about a year to restore it back in 2000. They beat on it. This car is 16 years old. Wow, it looks great. Absolutely looks great. How was the travel down? And you actually drove this car, correct? I, no, I trailered it. Trailered it. Okay, trailered it down. The car's only about 20,000 miles. Oh, really? Let's move to the interior shelf. On, the, on that note, we have you open it up. And we've got our typical 66, the metal here and the vinyl here with the carpet on the bottom. we got the original interior? That's the original interior, Beautiful. that's the carpets. Look at that, lots of room in here. Lots of room in here. The all important vehicle number, I'll do that so it'll make a little more sense. And an original Hemi car. Well, we can be thankful for the drag racing yeah. that kept, kept this car with you. Looks like a, a brilliant move at this point. Kind of a very stock dash. I mean, uh, nothing super spectacular. At, Notice the radio delete is in it. Look at you. Yeah. Look at that. No radio. So this car was just specifically for drag racing. Yep. Holy. One God. option in the car. It's got a factory tinted glass. Factory tinted glass. Was the uh, automatic, was that not an option? Yes. That was an option? Yes. Okay, so that and the, that and the tinted glass. All right, great. Let's, uh, let's, let's go look under the hood, shall we? I'm, I'm such a fan of whenever I see a Hemi car, I kind of run to it. And... Wow. That takes up a lot of room in there. 
there's your your build. Was this an original black car? Yes. Wow. So it has a little sinisterness to it, huh? That's correct. It's got the black car with a Hemi. This is the kind of car Darth Vader would go, yeah, I think I'll take that one. <laughs> Look at that. Would you be able to pop those off? Is it two four barrels? Yes. Is that difficult to pop off or no? Oh. While you're doing that, I'm going to do this. I just want to show people what that looks like under there. Oops. It looks just like that. Let's put that back on. You know, I've, you, you, I'm assuming you've had the engine out because I see that uh, that uh, it looks like you've got some engine mounts to that. That didn't come with the car, I'm assuming. These mounts? Yeah. No, those are factory. Those are factory. Yes, they are. Really? was supposed to remove those. Really? So that's even, that's even more factory than factory when the dealership's supposed to remove them. That's, that's right. <laughs> These are the ones that came with the car. Really? These right here and there's one I noticed. No, yeah, when you had that off I noticed that one right back there. Yes. I love the details of this car. Well, there's only one thing left to do. We must start it. feature you another time just so that the audience knows what kind of car do you have? 67 GTX convertible. Nice. 44 speed. 44. Bright red, white interior. And you said something interesting about that car. How many weddings has it been in? Five. Five weddings. So everybody wants you to drive that car. Even in Florida. Even in Florida. Hey, great car, Ray. Thanks so much for bringing it all the way from Canada to the Muscle Car and Corvette National. It's really a treat to video your car. And thanks for being on my car store. Thank you very thank much. Thank you very much. We'll be back. Thanks. <laughs> 